I'm Larry Aglisano reporting for Kit Plains Magazine here at Sun and Fun 2014 in Lakeland, Florida. Garmin has a new G3X Touch for LSA and experimental cockpits, but Dynon also has a touchscreen system. It's the Dynon Skyview Touch. Here's Dynon's Michael Schofield. Dynon is here at Sun and Fun 2014 with the new Skyview, which features Skyview Touch, our new autopilot and knob control panels, and Skyview Software 10, which is our biggest release ever. On the primary flight display, Skyview already has a robust and flexible system. We have these joystick knobs that let you select different features, but with touch that gets even easier. If I want to adjust the altitude bug when I'm flying the autopilot, for example, I can just touch altitude and then adjust the knob. Touch the airspeed, that changes the, the knob's function, and adjust that. Same thing with altimeter setting, and if I have different navigation sources in the aircraft, I can toggle through them just by touching the information next to the HSI area. The map is touch enabled and works exactly as you'd expect. You can pan around, you can pinch to zoom, you can touch things for more information, and if, if you know what you're looking for, you can bring up um, the, the, the text entry and let's say we want to go to you know, K-P-A-E, we just grab that and then hit direct to and we're off. The new autopilot control panel offers dedicated controls for all of your autopilot features, including a dedicated level button. One button push and the aircraft assumes a straight and level attitude. You also have control of all of your, your horizontal modes, heading, track, and nav. If you have multiple navigation devices, you can toggle through them with the, the nav source button. And of course, altitude hold with the ability to climb and descend on vertical speed and indicated airspeed. And then buttons to um, adjust both of those uh, vertical speed and indicated airspeed numbers. The dedicated knob control panel has knobs for the items that you adjust the most on the cockpit. Your heading and track bug, your altimeter setting, and the altitude bug. Skyview 10 also adds support for full and route charting, including VFR sectionals, IFR low, and IFR high. And then of course, Skyview's native digital presentation. That adds to the existing capability where we have airport diagrams, both FAA and flight guide, as well as all of your procedure charts, which are geo-referenced. All of that is available from Seattle Avionics for $99 a year for U.S. customers. Skyview Touch is exactly the same form factor as our existing Skyview displays. It's a 10-inch, bright, wide-screen form factor display. It's about 2 inches deep. And for existing customers, it is literally a drop-in replacement. Same exact wiring, same Skyview network connections. Similarly, the new knob and autopilot control panels also have a pair of Skyview network connections so that you can use our prefabricated Skyview network harnesses to easily chain up different devices in the cockpit with really no manual wiring required. One of the major new features in Skyview Software 10 is our new six-pack mode. Great for transition training, and people that are just used to the analog gauges and prefer them. You can display it, display the six pack with the synthetic vision, or if you want a, class, a very classical looking panel, just like that. Skyview Touch is only $395 more than our existing Skyview displays at $39.95. The knob control panel is $250, and the autopilot control panel is $550. For more information about Skyview Touch and the new Skyview, visit www.thenewskyview.com.